There we go. Fish on. Oh my gosh. We got a decent bass. Ended up snapping on us. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel today. We are headed into Shields, the world's largest all sports store. We're looking to purchase a $40 fly combo. Fly outfit, the whole nine. We're going to do a review on this thing today. I'm pretty excited. It is a Fluger brand. We've taken a look at it and we've tested out another budget friendly full fly combo. And uh, now we're going to try this one. We're going to see the differences. I'm pretty stoked to see uh, the few things that this one might have to offer over the other, the competition, which was a $30. $30 fly combo from Academy. So let's get inside and check this thing out. Okay, y'all, here it is. Check it out. 40 bucks. This is the whole thing. And wait a second. It looks as though somebody has like broken into this thing and bumped off the handle. I think um, Shields, now you're aware, there has been little bit of mischievousness. Somebody needed a handle apparently for the fly combo. We're gonna grab this one. It seems to be fully set up. We're gonna leave this as we found it. Might alert the staff on the way out, say hey, broken fly fishing combo. Uh, but yeah, here we go. $40 fly outfit, you guys. Everything is on here. The reel, the rod, uh, it's an eight foot. As far as the weight rating, I wanna say it's probably considered like a five or a six. Yeah, it kinda says like five, two, six weight fly rod, so. Yeah, no, it's entry level. It's up to your discretion, I guess. They've got a handful of flies, though. We're definitely gonna test these out. What I'm really excited about is the cork uh, handle there. And then the real seat, I can't really tell if that's any more upgraded than the one we purchased, but we're gonna give you the whole on the water review here very shortly. So we're gonna take this thing out, try and fish it, try and catch a fish on it, and see if we should try out some other combos here shortly that may be a little bit more expensive. Because what we found is you can spend a lot of money on this fly fishing gear really quick. I mean, you can spend a thousand bucks pretty easily. Not to say everything is that expensive, but you can spend a whole lot of money. Even back here in the corner, some of the Shields brand outfits, uh, which is a rod and reel combo with, it looks like backing in line already assembled, is like 90 bucks. So maybe we try one of these in the next couple videos and just kind of work our way up towards the more expensive gear. Because you guys are going to see us do more reviews and fishing as far as the fly stuff goes in future videos. We're loving getting out there and uh, filming this style of content. Hopefully y'all, well I know y'all are enjoying it based on the, uh, the engagement in the comments. So. Let's go ahead and see if we need anything else. Otherwise, we're gonna get straight to it and review this $40 combo out on the water. Also, I've been hearing really good things about Klaus or Minnow, so I think I'm gonna try and grab a couple of these. I don't know if this is necessarily heavy enough to throw this, but we're about to find out. All right, we're at the spot. This thing is looking serious. Fly fishing kit, single action fly reel, eight foot, three piece, five slash six weight fly rod, 25 yards of six weight fly line, 50 yards of 20 pound backing, seven foot six inch 4x tapered leader and includes five dry flies it even shows you all of your knots too to tie onto your reel tie your fly line and your leaders there's the rod three pieces here is our flies <laughs> take the plastic wrap off the cork start piecing this rod together there's no indicators to line it up which is not expected on a rod and reel like this but when you get into some more expensive combos oftentimes there's little dots that help you line up the rod to make sure you're assembling it correctly and I like to press that in there pretty fiercely otherwise sometimes the rod will come apart while you're fishing bound to happen eventually so you're gonna have to remove some tape on this so you're gonna have to remove some tape on the spool to get to your fly line there we go and the leader is not attached on this kit here. It is attached on the $30 one from Academy. Oh, I think we've got adjustable drag on this one. That's gonna be key. We'll see if that's uh, the truth or not here in just a moment. Let's pair this thing up. Oh, this is interesting. It pushes the reel towards the back. The other one that I have pushes the reel towards the front. Hmm. So you've got these two pieces right here. You can lock that reel in between, and then you just tighten this plastic piece up right here to secure the reel onto the very far back end of the rod. I like to be careful with these cheaper kits because I'm sure you could easily strip this and then you're not gonna have any fishing fun at all. So, nice little hand tighten there. Just kind of periodically check that and uh, you should be good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through all my eyelets and then I'm going to tie the leader that is supposedly included. I didn't see it, but I'm gonna go scouring through the box here in just a minute for it. There's a bit of that sound for you. I'm gonna see if this is actually adjustable drag or not. So like, I think I just turned it all the way up. 
Mm, I don't know if that's adjustable drag or not. So if I go this way, now will it be looser? Very tough to say. I really don't know. I'm twisting this thing all the way around. It feels like nothing is happening. Let me pull on that again. Might be just a hair tighter. It's tough to say. All right, let's find this leader. Okay, so here it is. It's tucked behind that. All right, let's go ahead and get this tied on. So here's this tippet. There's got to be an easier way to do this. I've been confused with both kits. It seems like it's just so tangled when you get these things out of the box, but that's, I guess, because it is. I don't know if the best way is to go from the thicker end or the thinner end. So I'm going to go from the thicker end this time. What if you just pull? That might be the secret. If I get a little knot, I'll just use less of it. Because last time this took me like 15 minutes. Yep, I guess that's the key is just pull it. So with these fly fishing leaders, uh, you'll see that uh, in my left hand is one end of it, and my right hand is the other end, and it tapers from like what might be a 10 or 15 pound where you're going to tie to your fly line all the way down to just the smallest, maybe like, you know, one pound, two pound rated test, and that is what you're going to tie your fly to, so it's a little bit more of an elegant love tap to the water with the fly and it looks more lifelike realistic and i believe this uh really applies to like dry flies i might be completely misinterpreting this right here but with a, a lot of those flies you do want to have it tapered down less line for the fish to see and more lifelike presentation so i'm just going to go ahead and tie a uni knot right here and we're going to get in business i'm going to go through here five times three all i did was a simple uni knot i'm going to cinch this down now and now on that academy kit this was already done for you so you did not have to tie any more knots which was very nice really the question becomes what fly do we want to tie on first and i'm just going to be doing a uni knot to my fly as well oh and i'll tell you what i like this guy right here a little darker looks like a nice little uh, what did i say in my last fly video mosquito i think this thing looks just like what would eat you up so we want him to get eaten for once instead of us getting bit let's let him get bit by the fishies look at that little morsel this is going to be ooh. This is going to be good. I really like this one. The smaller diameter line is really hard to work with sometimes, especially if you're used to 15 pound fluorocarbon fishing for bass, not using fly stuff. So you want to be very easy pulling on this lighter line. So I'm not going to be pulling hard. I just want to make sure that it gets tightened up. There it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and chop off that excess tag line now. And we are ready to fish. So here's all the flies from the kit. In case y'all are wondering which one I tied on, it was the one closest to where you would open the top. That's the one we went with. Let's just toss that, our little tackle box in the bag, and let's see how this goes. Can't even see my bait down here. Can't even see my fly. Now, I chose this spot on the golf course because right down there, there's a nice little creek portion and a little waterfall that flows in. I was thinking the water might be pretty clean and we might get some cool action in a nice little creek. But uh, just to start, since I saw a couple panfish right here under this bridge, I might make a cast right down there real quick just to see if we get a hit right off the bat test this drag out so so with these uh fly rod and reel combos it's very important y'all it's not the weight of the bait like if you're used to using a bait caster or most typical fishing setups <laughs> it's not the weight of this fly that's helping me cast it it is actually the weight of the fly line that helps you cast with these fly rod and reels so what you got to do is make sure you have a little fly line out past the end of your rod and that weight is what helps you make these casts right here and we'll talk more about casting in just a second but let me see if i can get one on the hook just to test this drag there we go nice little elegant landing on the surface something's gonna cruise over here there's a fish on it little guy he looked at it when i pulled it there when i stripped it he's on has he got it no he bit it though look he's looking at it again multiple fish are swimming over now they want to check it out little panfish but all i want to do is get a bite i'll say i really like this cork um the one thing i noticed about it though right off the bat is there's like an imperfection in it right here and so I like I keep feeling that it's so it's not like perfect like right here feels great but right here feels all messed up so <laughs> user experience is not 100% just oh here comes a big one that's a big and he's on oh he came off there we go oh my that was two fish that have come off we're two we're oh and two right now with fish that have come off of this hook um now that i've got some bites i'm kind of feeling like we should go down to the creek there we go he's on he's on we got him we got this little guy we got this little guy come on get on up here oh just swim away all casual why don't you just a nice little f you to my face huh okay i see so i'm only casting about 15 20 feet away which is perfect because i've got just enough room to whip this thing before hitting that uh bridge wall right behind me so one thing when you're first learning how to cast with a fly setup is you definitely want to have some space here he comes there he's on he's on he's on we got this guy we got him he's running he's definitely 
swiping hard enough to make this hook want to really penetrate the skin. So I think we got him good. Come on up, Billy. Oh, snap. That's so cool. We got to get this on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and follow us if you would. If you want to see more fly fishing content before it drops on YouTube. There we go. See you, buddy. First fish on the new kit. Heck yes. All right, let's take it down to the creek. Before we move on, I'm just trying to reel in some slack here. And this knob just does whatever it wants to do. And this reel feels much more clanky because of that. It like it does not feel consistent. V look at that. I, the drag is on, but now it's not doing anything. Now it is. Wow. Maybe this is the the cheaper reel. We're definitely going to have to talk to you about that here. In the, in the conclusion of today's video, we're going to talk to you about the $30 one we bought from Academy versus $40 one we purchased from Shields. But I've also seen this guy at Academy and I believe another big box store. And I'm sure you can buy it online as well, like Amazon. I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll include a link down in the description. But uh, wait till the end of the video to get my take on this versus the original budget-friendly fly combo we bought just recently. Look at this right here. This is sick. Oh my gosh, there's bass in here. Oh, there's bass. Oh my gosh, there's a bass right here, y'all. A bass right here. Got a fish, got a fish. Bluegill, bluegill right off the bat, but there's a nice bass in here. No way. Y'all, there's some like decent fish in here. Oh my gosh. First cast down here. Let's go. I want that big bass. I probably stirred him up though. Oh my gosh, this is like a nice pound and a half bass right here. Like that would be a fight on this thing. Here we go, we're out there. Someone's gonna come eat it. Check my real seat and everything feels good. <clears throat> Something's on it, little guy. Oh, he's ran with it. Second cast, second cast, second fish. I don't know if it gets more fun than fly fishing, y'all. This is seriously legit. And to know that you can catch a big old bass on this too, I'm really throwing some small flies right now. But if you want to catch these bass, it's as simple as throwing a little bit bigger fly here. 40 bucks and she's still holding up. I do like it. Yeah, so casting with these things, y'all, you want to pull out enough line. So you got maybe a couple rod lengths worth of line, at least uh, just to get started, right? As far as casting specifics, I'm still getting things dialed in, but I hold it firmly when I bring it back, whip it forwards and let go. Whip it back, whip it forwards and let go. Hold on tight, whip it back, let go when you follow through. And uh, there's many ways to perfect it. There's already bluegill all over this thing. Here comes the bass, though. Oh, my gosh. The bass might get riled up and grab this bluegill. Oh, wow. I literally thought, look, the bass is following the bluegill right now. Oh, my gosh. I thought the bass might eat the bluegill. He literally might eat the bluegill. Hold on. Hold on. Talk about a food chain challenge. Fly to bluegill to bass. Uh-oh. He, he took us in the cover now. There we go. We got him out. Where's that bass? Oh, my gosh. If that bass like felt like he could eat this thing... <laughs> all right let's bring him in is that fourth fish now or is that third fish i think it's fourth fish we've been dialed in insane there we go yeah i mean you go to the right spot with some clear water like this you are bound to catch a fish right off the bat just you got to watch out for your cast because you can easily hit stuff It'll be a nightmare of an experience versus the fun time I'm having right here, trust me. You get your fly line caught up and stuff, you're gonna have issues. And uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of opportunity for error as well as the fun we're having here. So I literally just turned off the GoPro after giving you all those tips and I, I caught one as soon as it hit the water. I mean, this is just nuts. It's just like every cast. I think I'm gonna tie something else on from this kit to see if we can uh, specifically target that, that bass that we see roaming around. So actually there's nothing that's like crazy large in here and I don't really have the most confidence in that green one just because that's unlike anything I ever throw. I might try it here in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these Klauser minnows that I was strongly recommended to try by many folks out there. Uh, apparently bass love them. And so that's exactly what we've got. Now, I don't know, this might be a little large of a size for this uh, rod and reel setup, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just gonna go for it. You know that fly kicks butt, so I'm gonna put him right back in the kit where he belongs. Sometimes you wanna let those flies dry out before you put them away. That way uh, any moisture, if you're like talking about inside of your tackle kit, doesn't kind of accumulate and help rust those hooks faster than necessary, but we're not too worried about these flies right here where's my leader now this tippet is so light i might actually i might actually break off just casting this thing i wonder if i should like go further down the tippet and tie it onto where it's a little thicker now nah, we'll just 
we'll just risk it and let's try and catch a bass shall we oh wow this thing actually looks okay this looks like a nice little minnow oh my gosh no wonder y'all have been telling me to use these things oh and it's much heavier little little trickier to cast but i'll get it um i have lost the bass i don't see them let's try the pond up here real quick look at all these minnows see that's perfect exactly what we're imitating Oh, fish just whipped at it again. Pretty sure, oh, bass, bass, there we go. There we go, first bass, that's what we're talking about. Come on, buddy, <laughs> come on, first bass. Okay, there he goes. That's what we're talking about, y'all. Here's the test. How is that line gonna hold up? How's this, look at this rod. Everything is performing stellar for 40 bucks. I'm gonna try and whip him over here. Okay, okay, come on, come on, there we go first bass on the fly reel come on get on over here i see some stumps you could take a send to i'll try and get him to the reel and see how this drag works yep oh well it works yep it works oh i feel like i'm not getting anywhere on the reel all right first bass y'all this is sick yeah i feel like this reel is not going anywhere he's just wanting to dig right now that's the problem Come on, bud. Oh my gosh, how sick is this? Come on over here, buddy. Clouds or minnows, y'all. Who would have thought? So that's the one extra thing I grabbed, aside from that popper, that did not come in the kit to begin with. There we go. Choked the clouds or minnow. Oh my gosh. Barely hooked, y'all. Absolutely barely hooked. Everything performed flawlessly, though. I mean, yes, that is something a little bit larger than what comes with the kit, just because I know I might be fishing some different stuff than y'all. But look at that solid bass out of the pond here. Only a handful of casts in, to be completely honest. I literally walked from like that uh, waterfall and just made a handful of casts as soon as we got right over here. Boom. Wow. Absolutely sick. That is, that is exactly what we wanted. Oh my gosh. I got to try for a couple more, see if we can get one that's bigger. Other than that, what an accomplishment. Out of both of these reels from the cheap ones I've used, that Martin one does seem to perform a little bit better. This one just kind of feels like, feels mushy. I also like the color of the fly line on that Martin, which is orange. But again, I don't want to give everything away before we do the recap at the end of the video. I've got more to tell you guys. So now that I reeled all that line in, I'm pulling some more out. That way I can make a longer cast again. So let me go ahead and try and cover this whole corner. This zone that hasn't seen much of my presence just yet. And then we will uh, we'll move on a little bit. How crazy was that? I got a, another awesome spot just around the corner I want to try. It's literally just across the street here. And I think we might link up with something decent sized. And also there might be some golfers that are trying to uh, hit this hole real quick. So let me get out of the way. See, now it's not doing anything. This reel is so weird. There it goes again. See, it's like, it's like the drag works when it wants to. I might have got a lemon, y'all. I very possibly could have got a lemon. This looks cool. What are we gonna find down here? Probably a tough spot to cast. I think we had a fish on. There we go, fish on, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we got a decent bass. Okay, okay. Wow, that did not take long. Klaus or Minnow, second bass ever. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can just reel this guy in real fast though. I might need to let him fight it out a little bit because he uh, has some decent size. Here he goes to jump. Oh my gosh, what a show. Heck yes, guys, on the $40 Fluger combo. Insane. This is sick right here. On that Klaus or Minnow, let's bring him over here. I'm gonna try and bring him in, but I don't know if he's gonna wanna come in just yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's light line right there. It's like one pound test at the end of this thing. Woo! All right, he's getting worn out. Let's bring him home. He's getting worn out. Look at that bass. Oh my gosh. Look at that bass. Nice. Second one on the Klauser. Oh my goodness. Well, so all I have to say is if you grab this kit, you might also want to grab some little shad looking baits like this guy right here. Klauser minnow seems to be just getting them i'm gonna have to grab the pliers out of my backpack for this one real quick 
second bass on the fly let's go oh my goodness this is crazy like a lot of fun oh god day okay do it then i dare you some way fast then that's what i thought try and mess with me like that come on i'm letting you go kid. he is chilling like he just got done with a half hour workout like he is literally just going so slow right here i could i could grab him by hand if i wanted to right now in fact there's another bass right here waiting for this class for a minute hold on let me go out there there we go we're out there fish fish another bass let's go oh my gosh this is so sick y'all like literally <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, gotcha. Caught you clowning on the clouser, didn't we? Golly, all these are barely hooked. This is just nuts. I would say the line feels, yeah, that line feels pretty frayed. I think I'm gonna retie, otherwise I might lose my new favorite bait. This is insane. I and mean, after every fight, really, you should probably check your line, just like you would with any other tackle, right? And you can feel that that line is messed up from the bass teeth. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and snip right past where it's uh, feeling jeopardized. And I'm going to retie this knot. So if we get another fish and uh, he decides to shake, and he might snap that line much easier now because it is in bad shape. All right, maybe there's a giant hiding over here that we have yet to find. Fish, bass, nice. There we go. That was like two casts later. This one's got more fight than the big ones. Jeez. You want to talk about head shakes? Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Yep. Thank you, sir. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang. He got away with our clouser minnow. Oh, gosh dang it. He broke us off. Okay. Well, time to retie something else. After we just talked about retying, that was our fault, though. We need a, we need a net. I have now learned fly fishermen always need the net. Shout out to Umpkua. Nice little Clouser Minnow. S-L-Y Shiner. O-2-B-U. Whatever that code is. That's the money right there. My last Clouser. Don't let me down, man. Oh, fish. There we go. Oh, this one could be big. No, he's a little. Oh, man. Came off. I was going to say. Felt pretty good there for a second after the first shake or two. But what does that say? They love the Klauser minnow. Basically, since I don't have any of those strike indicators almost, like those bobbers and none come with the kit, what I look at, oh, he swooped at it. That was absolutely nuts. Well, that time I got to see him eat it, but what I'm looking for for the bite is the end of the fly line. So where the end of the fly line is, there's only about five feet, if that, until uh, the bait. And so I'm watching my fly line, and if I see the, oh, don't break off that second Klauser minnow in these rocks, I will, no, 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 no. Look, I cannot get this refunded. Oh my God, son, you better come back out of there. You better come back out of those rocks. This is not a joke right now. I am not playing. I'm just going to let you chill for a second. Bring me my Klauser minnow. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come here, son. Son, I need that. I legitimately want that back. Oh no. Here I am trying to give these tips and I lose focus and I'm gonna lose my second Klauser minnow. This bass is not coming out of here, by the way. He is so buried. I'm just gonna give him a minute. Yeah, so anyways, I watch the uh, end of the teal line and if it gets pulled a little bit or shifts, then I kind of go for a hook set because they're free. And uh, yeah, usually you'll get that fish. What on earth is going on with this bass? Gosh dang it. Klauser minnow's lost. Got him, got him, got him. He came out, thank goodness. Come here, buddy. Look, I'm just trying to let you go, honestly. Literally, I could not be more thrilled to let you go versus you letting yourself go. Come here. Thank you. Wow, you darted for that. That was a sick, like, topwater eat on this thing as I was trying to talk to y'all. Woo! What a catch. But also, I've been feeling a lot of these bites, too. These bass have been hitting it fairly aggressively, and so if you feel a bite, go ahead and hit that hook set. And what I've been doing to set the hook, although there's many ways to do it, is uh, you could simply raise the rod, but I've been told uh, for bass and for some other species to strip set, which means just pulling more line. This is a strip. So every time you do that, you're stripping line. And so for me, I kind of like 
pull on it and sometimes I kind of raise the rod at the same time. That's all kind of happening simultaneously. Now when it comes to fighting the fish, we can talk more about that here in just a minute. Usually I keep my line, I see some people just do one finger, but I usually keep it over the two fingers here. That uh, pointer finger and your middle finger is what I do. And then if one comes on, I can kind of keep tension there against the rod or loosen it. I'm effectively the drag system, right? When you're, when you're fighting the fish on the fly, you're kind of the drag system. You're holding onto the line and allowing them to give or take based on how hard they're fighting. But if it's a big fish, they might start taking all the line until all your line is taken up and now you've got them on the reel. And now that reel is going to have a drag system. Although these uh, starter kit ones, I thought I had a bite. It looked like that line was moving pretty good. Although these starter kit ones drag is like not really adjustable. You will have drag on some more expensive reels so you can just set it up properly for like the size fish you're targeting. If you can spend 40 bucks, get out here and have this much fun. And yeah, maybe you're going to have to get more line, right? Maybe you have to grab more tippet or I'm sure you could just even use, depending on what you're targeting. If you're targeting bass like me, you could simply do a liter of lighter fluorocarbon or monofilament line and you would be okay. But uh, if you're fishing for some really finicky species, honestly with this, I'd probably be better off throwing like a 10 pound fluorocarbon liter than I would be throwing this tippet just because it's a little heavier and you know, that you're kind of jeopardizing losing this tippet, which should be utilized for those lighter dry flies if I'm not mistaken. So I want to hit some new water. I think we're about to make a move y'all. Oh, just kidding. We got a fish on and he's staying low. What is it? Oh wow. He's actually, he's got some fight. Is this a little guy or is this a big guy? I have not seen him yet. I think he's mediocre size. I think he's modest based on what's happening right now. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he see, he just took a little bit of line. I'm keeping tension, but enough to let him take it. See, see, this one's actually giving us a fight here. He has not come up yet. Okay, he's, he's, yeah, like I said, modest. He's probably a pound and a quarter, pound and a half, but so much fun on a fly combo. Like if you're fighting this guy on a bait caster, I'd already have him to the bank. This is like a challenge. Look at him run. How sick is this? I mean, it's a totally different fight. Also, I've watched a handful of videos now on a lot of this equipment and fighting the fish. And if the fish is going this way, you wanna have that rod that way. If the fish is starting to fight this way, you wanna have it that way. You wanna wear those fish out and you're putting a lot more pressure on them. So I've heard when your rod tip is lower and you've got a good arch versus when you've got that rod straight up like this in the air. So I'm trying to keep my rod down and off to the side. That's one thing I've learned. I'm just stripping more in as I feel I'm getting tired, right? I'm stripping more line in right now. And now I'm all the way down to the leader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift that rod. I'm gonna raise that rod tip all the way up, try and bring them on over here. And ideally you would have a net so you don't ever jeopardize snapping off on your light line like that one guy did with us. Look, he's already, it's so lightly hooked with these things. It's ridiculous. I mean, just nuts. That's catch and release fishing at its finest right there for y'all. Oh my gosh, on the fly. This is too much fun. I'm kind of curious if there's a three or four pounder that wants to bite in here. I wanna cast this way, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a, a challenge. The goal here is to catch a nice like three pound bass on this thing for its break in show out on the channel. That would be off the chain. I mean, it would be, I'd be thrilled to really break this thing in right and give honest final thoughts and opinions back at the house here in this evening. I mean, we've already caught. I mean, 10 fish is an under, that's like, that's low balling it, right? Pretty sure we've caught 10, 15 fish by now. This is way too much fun. Uh, well, we decided to hit one more juicy spot down there and I uh, got caught up in some reeds. So I tried to pop it free with the rod and it ended up snapping on us. So no more fishing this evening. We'll hit y'all with the recap here in just a sec. All right, y'all. Well, I won't lie, slightly disappointed. So with that, instead of going home and just doing a straight up review on this one, I did bring that $30 Martin fly rod with me and I figured I'd cast it a couple times with that Clouser minnow. I'll untie it from the Fluger combo and I'll put it on the Martin and I can talk about a couple of the differences real quick just to close things out because honestly, I'm thinking that $30 one is maybe a better buy at this point. And it's not just because the rod snapped. I can live with that. I was kind of like trying to whip the bait free from the grass. You know what happens. And uh, so I don't fault the rod for breaking, but that kind of stacks with the reel being really clanky and nowhere near as consistent in its retrieve as the other one. So real quick, let's make a few more casts before it gets dark. And we'll close this thing out with our final thoughts as we fish this other budget combo that maybe is a better buy at $30 for y'all. So let's go ahead. Here's the old Academy special right here for 30 bucks. I was going to do a kind of 1v1 comparison soon, but I guess you're kind of going to get to see it all in one with the review of the Fluger. So right off the bat, you'll probably notice the differences. The rod instead of a maroon color is a darker green here. The fly line is orange rather than like a teal, which stands out much more and is easier to see the bites and uh, identify on top of the water. The reel has been very consistent for me. When I reel it in, 
it always makes the same noise. It never doesn't make noise, right? It always is consistent with that. Here's what I said, how that real seat, it kind of tightens this way versus tightening that way. Uh, when you're talking about the balance on these beginner kits, I don't think either direction makes too much of a difference or the placement. The one thing that stood out on the Fluger though is that cork grip in comparison to this right here. So it's almost like a darker foam grip. But really aside from the cork, I like a lot of things about this combo better. You can also turn the drag on and off. So now you won't hear it at all. Turn that up, now you hear it. But it's unadjustable from all the research I've done, which is fine because even that one that had adjustment on it, the Fluger, it seemed like that knob was just free. It just did whatever it wanted. So it really was not ideal. <laughs> now I would hope to get one fish just to show you all a fight in comparison on both uh, sets of gear here, even though that wasn't the intention of today's video. Well, there you have it, y'all. Snap rod later. Only cost us 40 bucks. We had a lot of fun with it. I don't want to fault that combo again. I really didn't give that rod much pressure when it did snap on me. And I literally just stopped recording because I had caught all those fish down there in that little almost creek area. And then as I was working my way out, I'm like, oh, this spot looks good. Let me make one more cast. And that's exactly when it happened. So that is that. I'm going to include links to the Fluger one, which was today's focus, as well as the Martin one, which is the $30 one that I found at Academy. I believe you can grab all of them on Amazon. So that's where you'll probably find those links to purchase in the description if you want to try these things out for yourself. And so with that we have a lot more fly content coming your way very soon as well as just standard casting gear obviously a lot of our fans of the channel have been long time casting gear bass fishing folks and so we're not stopping none of that we still got a lot headed your way but we're very excited about our new fly combos we picked up that i'm not going to tell you any more about you're going to see soon enough so we'll catch you on those videos subscribe if you ain't already until the next one peace there we go now on the reel let's test out this drag look at this there we go see this is nice man Finally, some decent drag. Yes, I don't have to just, I don't have to have my hand on the reel. And it's starting to rain. What a scenario. Here we go, y'all. Come on. Fighting them on the reel. This is exactly what I wanted, but those budget kits, they just have such light drag, you can't do this. 